Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra and in this video I am going to show you 15 note taking tips and tricks for this tablet. So the app that I am going to use is Samsung Notes. So let's start. The first feature is about bringing data from different sources to your notes. For example, I open my internet browser in split screen and here you can see I search some images on Google. For example, I like this image and now I want this image to my notes, but I want this image without these labelings. So I will press and hold it like this and then I will select this option of clip subject from background. It will highlight only the image part and then I will press and hold it like this and I can easily drag and drop this image to my notes. And later if you want you can also edit this image as well. The next thing is same way you can also bring any text. For example, I open this website and now I want this text to my notes. So what I will do, first of all, I will use my S Pen. I will start selecting the text. So for example, I will select this text till here. Then I will press and hold it like this and then I can also drag and drop this text to my notes. And later if you want, you can also highlight this text and you can also edit this text. You can also add whole web page to your notes. For example, I open this website and now I want this whole website to my notes. So you can see here I have this option of link and whole page. So I will select this whole page option and now it will start adding this whole website to my notes. And later I can use all of these tools for annotations. You just have to wait for a few seconds. So here is the final result. You can see the same website is now available in my notes with same same images and same text. Now you can use all of these tools. For example, you can use the pen tool. You can also use this highlighter tool and you can also use this page sorter option. So for example, if you want to access any page, you can directly access from here. So after all the annotations, you can also export it as a PDF file. The next feature is about voice recording and transcript. For example, you have a lecture going on and you want to do the audio recording of that lecture. So select this plus icon and then select voice recording. It will start recording the lecture and in the meantime, you can also take your notes. Once you finish with your recording, you can select this stop option. The next thing is you can also get a transcript of your voice recording. So select this list option and then select this T icon and then you just have to wait it will start transcribing. So here is the final result. You can also get a summary of this transcript. So here is the summary option. The next thing is you can also bring this transcript to your notes. You just have to press and hold it like this and then you can drag and drop it to your notes and later if you want you can also edit it. The next feature is about bringing any video object to your notes. For example, you are watching a video and you want to bring some object from that video to your notes. So first of all, you have to pause that video. So I will pause this video and now for example, I want this chair in my notes. So I will use my S Pen. I will press and hold it like this and I can easily drag and drop it to my notes. And later if you want, you can also edit it, you can crop it and you can do all your annotations. Now let's talk about new notes AI tools. So for example, if you want to auto format your handwritten notes, you can select this note assist tool, then you can select auto format and then from here you can select headers and bullets and then from here you can select generate text layout. So the AI will start start analyzing this handwritten notes and then it will convert it into the headings and bullet points. So here is the final result. You can scroll it like this and then it will show you different styles. So you can use any of these styles. You can also convert any sketch to image. For example, I create this sketch and now I want to convert it into an AI image. So I will select this note assist tool and then I will select this sketch to image option and now I will use my S Pen and now I will circle around this sketch like this. 
and then here it will give me different options so if i select this arrow you can select any of these options so i will select watercolor and then i will select generate so the ai will start analyzing this sketch and then it will convert it into an ai image and then you can use that image so here is the final result you can also scroll it like this and it will show you different styles so you can use any of these styles in your notes you can also generate a summary for your notes so you just have to select this note assist tool select summarize and then from here select generate summary so the ai will start analyzing your notes and then it will generate a summary for you so here is the final result you can also generate cover for your notes using ai for example i want to generate cover for these notes so i will go back from here and then i will press and hold it like this and then i will select more and here you can see we have this option of generate cover so i will select generate cover so the ai will start analyzing these notes and then it will generate cover for me so here is the final result i will select done and here is the new cover for my notes you can also edit it you just have to press and hold it like this and then you can select more and you can select edit cover so here you can see you can select any color for these covers and from here you can select any style for these covers once you finish you can just go back and your new cover is available the next thing is you can also generate a translation for your notes so for example i want to generate a translation for my handwritten notes i will select this note assist tool then i will select translate and then from here i will select generate translation so the ai will start analyzing my handwritten notes and then it will generate a translation so here is the final result from english to german you can also change the language just select this arrow from here and then from here you can select any language for example i select hindi and then i will select translate now it will translate into hindi now for example if you want it in your notes you can just press and hold it like this and you can easily drag and drop it to your notes and later if you want you can also edit it the next feature is about using Gemini for explaining different things and then use that information in your notes. For example, I open this website and now I want a simple explanation for this information. So I will just swipe from this corner like this. It will open the Gemini. Now here you can see we have this option of ask about this screen. So I will select this option. It will take the screenshot for this page. Now you can ask anything. For example, I will write here explain this simply and then i will send this command to gemini and gemini will start analyzing this information and then it will explain it in more simpler way so here is the final result now you can copy it so here is the copy option now what you can do is you can open your notes you can take out your clipboard and here is the information so you can just press and hold it like this and you can easily drag and drop it to your notes and later you can also edit it using different tools one more thing I want to mention here is below this video you see this like button if you press it like this it will change its color you can try this experiment you can also share this video with your friends the next feature is about taking notes on top of videos and screen recording for example you have a video lecture going on and you want to take notes in the meantime so just press this S Pen button and then tap on the screen two times like this it will open the Samsung notes and here you can start taking your notes now you can see the samsung notes are blocking the view behind so what you can do is select this blue bar select the opacity icon and then from here you can reduce the opacity of samsung notes and now you can take your notes and you can also see the video behind the next thing is you can also do the screen recording of your video and your notes you just have to bring down this quick panel and then from here you have to select this option of screen recorder and then select start recording so after this countdown your screen recording will start the next thing is for example if you want to highlight anything important in your screen you can use this pen tool and then you can highlight anything important in your screen the other thing is you can also turn on the front camera so here is the front camera icon so i will select it like this and then here is the front camera you can move it any position in your screen 
once you finish with your screen recording you can select this stop option and then your screen recording will save in your gallery and later you can access it the next feature is about adding text to your notes for example you are scrolling through a website and you find some interesting information and you want to save that information to your notes you just have to use your s pen start selecting the text so for example i will select this text till here once you finish with your selection here you can see we have this option of add to note so i will select this option and the same text will be added to my notes so i will make it bigger and now here you can see i can use all this information i can highlight it i can also edit it if you scroll on top you can see we also have the link for the same website if you want to delete it you just have to press and hold it like this and here is the delete option the next thing is if you just tap on this link it will open the same website with the same text you can also categorize your notes according to folders and subfolders so what you can do is you can create folders according to your semesters and inside those folders you can create subfolders according to your subjects so here you can see for example i have this main folder and inside this folder i have these subfolders so how to create a new folder select this manage folders option and then here you can see we have this option of create folder you can select any color you can give it any name and then you can add it now let's talk about different tools inside Samsung Notes. So the first tool is this shape tool. You can create any kind of shape and then it will convert it into the neat shape. You can also change its dimension. You can also change the size. You can also change the angle. The next thing is you can also use this handwriting to text tool. Now whatever I write with my S Pen, it will convert it into the text. The next tool is this handwriting help tool. So now whatever I write it will align it into the straight line so this will be really really helpful for your handwritten notes then we have this pen tool so inside pen tool we have five different type of pens then we have this highlighter tool so inside highlighter we have four different type of highlighters you can also use this laser pointer for your presentations you can also change the color for this laser pointer for example I want this red color now I can use this red color for different presentations the next feature is about using smart select tool for your notes for example I open this excel sheet and now I want this table inside my notes so I will open the air command and then from here I will open smart select tool now I will use my S Pen and then I will circle around this table and then I will crop it so here you can see I can use my S Pen to crop this table and then on top you can see we have this option of add to note so I will select this option then I will select add to new note so the same table will be added to my notes and here I can use all these tools inside my notes so for example if I want to highlight some information I can use this highlighter as well you can also add page templates inside your notes so select these three dots select page template so here you can see we have different page templates available you can also go for different planners select this PDF option and here you can see I have different planners option for example I will select this planner and here you can see I can use this planner for my notes the next thing is you can also change the color for your notes so for example I want to change the color so I will select these three dots and then I will select page setting and here you can see I can change the color for my notes as well you can also sync your notes across multiple Samsung devices you just have to go back from here then select this navigation draw then select the settings icon and here you can see the first option is about sync with Samsung cloud so you just have to enable this option and then you have to enter your Samsung ID the palm rejection is working perfectly fine on Samsung notes here you can see I rest my hand on the tablet screen and you can see there are no spots you can export your notes in six different formats select these three dots and here is the option of save as file so you can select this option so you can see you can save your notes as notes file pdf file word file powerpoint image or text file so this is for today's video please subscribe to my channel thank you very much